You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another action figure review. Lucky enough to pick up this Obi-Wan Kenobi 3 pack just recently. Uh, I managed to, I'm glad I sort of held off. I've been sort of keeping an eye on it on Amazon and stuff. But uh, yeah, popped up on eBay for 60 Australian dollars posted and then the seller offered a $10, $10 discount. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to grab it. It's 50 bucks. That's, uh, you know, almost... Like it's just over fifteen bucks a figure, which is pretty damn good for these days, because it's uh, you know, it's nearly thirty-five bucks a pop at retail here these days. So, yeah, very excited to get these ones. I was never really that fussed if I missed it, you know. Like, you know, they're, you know, the Jawa. It's a second, you know, it's like second tier character. I never got the uh, Purge Trooper in Black Series, and uh, I did get those two in Black Series, and the Obi Wan was actually really good. So, um. We'll see if it can top the uh, Jabeem one because that was an uh, absolutely fantastic figure. But I've got a feeling it's going to be more in line with the uh, just the Wandering Jedi figure. So I thought I'd share you the box um, before we get into the reviews. And um, yeah, I think I'm just going to start with with Tika the Jawa, and we'll make our way through the list. And uh, yeah, we'll be doing the uh, individual reviews for the rest of the week. So uh, yeah, let's check it out. Alright guys, I've got, got the cards out, and uh, yeah, we're going to start off with VC258, it is Tika, the Jawa, which is uh, actually cool timing, because this character shows up as a um, as a little extra in Star Wars Outlaws on Tatooine, um, one of the uh, accomplices you need to uh, help out to, to acquire certain parts for your for your ship and speeder, speeder bike, so again, like I said, VC258... This one's come nice and unpunched. Looks good in the packaging. Looks pretty good in general. Um, I do like the Obi Wan Kenobi logo. Yeah, I'm not sure why they can't come unpunched every other time. It's not. It's not a big deal for me being an opener, but you know, for the card collectors that like to keep them as pristine as possible. Um, yeah, it's just. I don't know. They just need a little bit more room in their shipping cartons and, uh, yeah, keep that little punch tab in there. So, yeah, let's bust open Tika and take a look. All right, folks, here is Tika the Jawa out of the packaging. Um, as always, you know, we always start with looking at the uh, looking at the packaging. Uh, we take a, then take a look at accessories, paint applications, articulation, and then at the very end we'll do a sneaky little peg test to see if you'll stand on the uh, Kessel Run action figure stands um so yeah it comes with the little sort of jawa i don't know what to call it it's like a pulse blaster ion ion blaster you know they're sort of just made to blast and stun basically you know a lot of paint job on it a sort of dirty worn metal look it looks good Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Jawas of recent years have have come with this same same blaster. I'm sort of looking over at the uh, off-world Jawas from from here. They're, kind of, they're just right there. <laughs> anyway, they're very small. They're sort of tucked in there. Um, otherwise, we get this little piece of equipment. I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't matter what it is because it's cool. It's a nice little, you know, little world building piece. You know what I'd love to see is um, almost like the trolleys. That, yeah, like like the hover sled sort of thing that the Jawas can sort of push around. And then otherwise we get this other thing. It's like a continuum trans function or something. I don't know. No idea. It almost looks like a radiator or something. <laughs> um, but again, cool accessory. A little bit of paintwork there, which just... You know, adds a little bit to it, which is cool. All right, so there's the accessories. Um, if you'd like to include the accessory, you'd probably say the vest and the belt. You could essentially take these off and just make a generic Jawa. Um, 
Tika is really very much sort of defined by the vest. That's sort of what makes Tika stand out from other Jawas. But yeah, if you just wanted another Jawa in your collection, you know, you take the vest off and then you put the bandolier back on and you've got yourself a pretty standard looking Jawa. But otherwise, it's pretty cool. I do like the uh, the knot on the back of the hood. I don't think we've seen that before. So it looks like a a new a new thing for Tika. Get a nice close up of the quote unquote face. And nicely sculpted the nice bright gold, shiny eyes. Which, uh, you know, it's a typical Tatooine Jawa. Looking at the details on the belt now. Little little medallion of sorts there. The little pouches. And it looks like a little comb, like a hair comb, stuck on there. Around the back. A lot of going on with the uh, if we sculpted details, but no paint work for anything there. A few little buckles and stuff. But um yeah, the vest, you know, nicely sculpted, fits the uh fits the body well. With the soft goods underneath. Again, just sort of some sort of stitch marks throughout in parts of it. I'm going to almost take the hood off. I'm not going to. I'm just going to pop this head off um, just to take a look at how easy it is to get this vest off and back on again. So you bear with me for just a moment. There we go. We're getting there. Undressing Jawas. Have you ever seen that anywhere else? I bet you haven't. All right. So here's the basic body of the Jawa. So we are just going to go through and do articulation while we're looking at it. Obviously, ball and socket in the head. There's a ball hinge in the shoulder. Ball hinge in the elbows. There's just some swivels in the wrists there. There's a swivel at the waist. Swivel at the hips there. No knees, no ankle articulation. I don't think many of them have had that anyway. I don't think any of the off-world Jawas had that kind of extra articulation anyway. So more or less, I'm pretty sure this is just the same body um, as many Jawas that have been out in recent years. But yeah, the soft goods has done well. It's a nice fabric. There's no a little bit of fraying on the edges, but that sort of just adds to the character. Being able to make them look a little bit desert worn, and you know they're not meant to be clean. That I don't, I don't think Jawas do laundry. For all I know, there's a you know sand crawler Jawa shower day. I've got no idea. Still a lot to explore with the with the Jawa Jawanese culture. I don't even know if it's Jawanese. I'd so yeah, let's get that vest back on. So yeah, not something I'll be doing too often is uh, undressing the Jawa. It's not something I've ever done before. Not, not something I ever thought I'd ever do either. So saw it here first, folks. If you've never seen the Jawa get undressed. <laughs> so there we go get this belt back on and we pop that head back on and give Tika the uh, the little blaster alright so last but not least peg test so the Kessel Run Kessel Run stands um, we designed these with three different pegs one sort of featured on the right there is for sort of black series, um, bigger figures, even some vintage Kenner. This one is for your more sort of dainty figures, probably the least used. And this one here is sort of aimed mostly vintage. Um, we may, no, look at that, perfect on that one. So that looks good. I think he's going to be staying on that. Um, it's sort of dot those little bits and bits of junk on the on the stand with it perfect look at that extra little thread 
There we go. There is Tika the Jawa. Really cool figure. Really nice to add. More Jawas, basically. <laughs> They're always fun to add. Can never have enough. Um, yeah, could definitely do with some more Hasbro if you want to do a do a multi pack. Put some put a pack of six Jawas out or eight Jawas. I don't care. Just you know, just bang out a Jawa pack. Just smash them out. Same with some Tuscan Raiders, some regular Tuscans. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. Coming up is the uh, the Purge Trooper Phase Two, so we'll check out that one next. Thank you for tuning in. If you like the video, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you again very soon. Until then, may the Force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.